What is good, a team? It's your boy T back at it with another reaction, coach. Now, if y'all couldn't tell from the title today, we finally got a Kevin Samuels reaction, bro. Or it's Kevin Samuels is part of this video we about to check out, but it's a whole like podcast setup, and I guess he's talking to some of the females on there. Um, now we've had a couple comments uh, on some of the past videos we've we've uh, done with y'all asking me to check out Kevin Samuels. And I've actually been checking them out in my own time. Um, I've also been, like, I told y'all we was going to be coming with some of these videos that were kind of on the red pill, blue pill side of things or the manosphere and all that stuff. Um, I've been watching content like that on my own time, but I haven't actually came with reactions to it. You feel me? Um, but like I said, if y'all ever have any videos that y'all want me to check out that's on this topic or even any or any other topics, really. But definitely for this topic as well, because I definitely want to start putting out a little bit more content towards this. Um, but y'all know we hit on all different types of topics on the channel. Um, but like I said, if y'all have any sort of content that y'all want me to check out, either drop a link to it in the comments or uh, hit your boy up on IG, even Twitter. Those links are in the description. It's underscore A-T. That's A-Y-E-E-E-T. But either way, bruh, um, this specific one is called, or the, the uh, title to this one is Only Fans Girls for the Subway or the Streets. Now, I've seen, uh, I want to say about six to seven minutes of this. Um, seemed like it was some some uh, pretty good content and maybe something that uh, needs to be talked about just a little bit more. Um, so, hey, really, I ain't got too much to say, you feel me? Let's go ahead and check this out. Let's see what it's talking about, man. <clears throat> and hey, I want y'all to get down there in the comments. Let me know y'all thoughts on OnlyFans before we even fully hop into it. So y'all can pause it right now. Let me know y'all thoughts on it. For me, it's like I can understand because obviously most most guys don't have OnlyFans. You feel me? It's more so the ladies. And I feel like the wave started on that over like maybe a little bit over two years ago, maybe. Maybe like a year and a half, two years where it really started taking off. Um, You've had so many girls who like they on there and they posting out. Well, I feel like it's kind of died down now. You feel me? There's still girls that's like doing it. But me, when I see OnlyFans, well, when I saw it then, it was like, eh, kind of intriguing. But me personally... Never paid for OnlyFans, never will. To me, it's like, what am I paying for? You feel me? Even if you don't hear doing the most explicit stuff possible, I mean, there's plenty of sites out there that's fully free with millions of videos. Like, if I just wanted to look at that, I could easily search that and get free content versus paying you a monthly fee. Even if you're doing the most explicit stuff, which most of the women on there aren't, and if they are, they're charging... Forty, fifty dollars per month for it. You feel me? So it's like, come on, my guy. And I heard some of them are finessing. Some of them posting stuff on their OnlyFans that they post on their Instagram. That's tough. That's tough. But y'all, let me know y'all thoughts. Like, I can understand women doing it to make a man, uh, make ends meet. But we gonna hear what this whole setup is about to be about, and we'll we'll take it from there. Uh, Kevin, welcome to the show, man. Now let's play Big Bank, take Lil Bank. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, man. We got Kevin fucking Samuels in the house. <laughs> Hi, guys. How are we doing? What's up, Kevin? One thing that I heard from the, from the ladies that I often heard when I spent a lot of time in corporate strip clubs with high-end escorts, porn stars, the new girls to the industry all thought they discovered fire because they were hot. What Afiz was trying to tell you ladies is the money you're making is seasonal. There will be a new it chick every season. All right, now we hear what he's talking about already. I just wanted to point this out. These two guys, this guy here with the with the red flannel and this guy with the pinstripe shirt, those two do a uh, like podcast channel called the roommates I've, I've seen a, a little bit of their content i think they've actually had kevin samuels on there once or twice um everybody else in here i don't know who they are though 
I've seen I believe Kevin Samuels has has uh, been on this on this podcast once before, like with this same setup where he was just kind of talking and they were all sitting at a little round table. That one actually got kind of heated as well, if I'm not mistaken. But that was like maybe a month or two ago. But let's keep it going. And what ends up happening is if you don't take the money you have while you're hot and if you're not flexible enough to listen to people who know better, you'll just have a lot of money that you blow. Now, I don't know why so many women think OnlyFans is this open fount of money. It's a it's money. OnlyFans is at scale now. And we have no history on women going a decade of making money, same store sales year over year on this platform. So everything that I heard from you ladies is the most optimistic projections if nothing changes. But it's open, so it's not possible for it to be for 10 years because it hasn't even been a decade since the website has just came. That's what I just said. Sex work. I mean, now that's <clears throat> what she just said is true at the same time. Because, I mean, if the website ain't even been popping for 10 years, there's no way that anybody could be. But he did also say there's no history of that happening. But my only thing is, is there history of since OnlyFans has been popping? Is there a history of a female that was popping on there from the very jump and is still popping on there right now? That's 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 my question. Because it's been around since forever. Yeah, but that's okay. what. So so like I was saying, I traffic in places where high end dancers escort sex work. Ladies, how do you honestly think you're going to make increasing money over the next ten years? I've increased my money exponentially every single month since I started OnlyFans. No, you didn't just. See how she how she kind of sidestepped the the uh, question. He asked a very simple question: Do you think you're going to increase the amount of money you're making in the next ten years? So basically, by year ten, you think you, you you're going to bend and increase money every single year from this source of income? She answers: I've increased my money every month. Okay, but that's again he's saying in this short period of time. He said everybody has their season. But you're not going to always be that 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 popping person, basically, who's going to get all this money in from these guys year after year type thing. That's a month. And, and that's and that's every month. But I said over the next 10 years, you've been in this business for right about a year. Right. That's 10 years old yet. That's not the question. Well, any business. If see, it see, and, see and here's the thing, and this is what I mean by the hard-headedness piece of it. In order to be able to take the money you've made and apply the so-called knowledge you have, you need to be able to work and leverage it with people who know more than you instead of looking Hafiz in the face like he doesn't know what he's talking about when he runs a million-dollar, almost million-dollar business. The guys on the podcast who are on the verge of running a million-dollar business and another person who knows how to do it is run most of them. You're asking me questions to prove to you, like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Supposed to be here with that. What y'all think so far, bro? I feel like we ain't got into it yet. And it might be some people like, why are we even checking this out? Really is for the, some of the ladies out there who might be thinking they can make a full time living for the next 20 years off of OnlyFans. Um, I don't think you know what you're talking about regarding OnlyFans. That's for sure. Because but I do know what I'm talking about as far as business and making money. In regards to making money, money comes in waves, and we all have to understand that. And if we all. Ma'am, do you, you do understand he said that at the beginning of this? You get your money for a season, meaning it, just like you just said, it comes in waves. You you literally just re repeating what he just said like it's like he did. I invest say successfully. It. We could. Where are you investing? Where are you investing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is she? Stand that, and if we all invest successfully, we could. Where are you investing? Where are you investing? Oh, people are. Where are you investing? Average. Where are you investing? That's none of your business. So you're not investing. What are you talking about, man? Are you invested or not? That's none of your business. What do you mean? Is it's not my business personally? But if you're gonna throw that out there, if we all invest in it, where are you investing? Are you just trying to get a point across to you? You like it's, it's a secret. To, you know, the well, see, you, I, I accept what you just said. 
But you said money comes in waves. Granted, we have to invest. It's taken. Where's some of the places you're investing? Yeah, you I still work. Ideas. See, this is what this is what this OnlyFans economy has done. It's let women with really low functioning knowledge, no high value or high it's ticket skills. Me. That's not low functioning knowledge. Uh, well, let's talk. OK, every time I've asked you, I've asked you any question about business and you've asked me a question instead of answering it. And I said, what, and if it's not you, eat the meat, spit out the bones. But what OnlyFans has done is it's created a bubble economy. Women are coming, rushing to OnlyFans, thinking that it's the new dot com, the new real estate. And they're realizing that there is no sustainable way to pro project this out for over five years. Now, maybe you don't know that knowledge, but I do. Because I, well, anyway, anyway. So you can go for the club, but like, we're not. You can't even get in. But do you, but you understand that what he's not trying to hate, and so no, this is. No, but listen, I'm investing my okay, OnlyFans okay. money into body contouring. He's asking my friend, "What is she investing in?" Yeah, he is trying to make her feel bad about that. I'm doing it into I'm body. Asking, no, no, I, no. Look at this. He see what the girl saying. He's he he's asking my friend, "What is she investing in?" And he's trying to make her feel bad about that. This is what. Definitely not all women, but there's some women who who do this. You like somebody can say something to you and you hear what you want to hear. Well, really, men can do it too. You feel me? But I feel like a lot of ladies do that. Like you say something to them, and one thing you said hit one of they like tugged at like one of they feelings or one of them heartstrings, and it's like, all right, now I'm just focusing on that. Well, you said that. Like, how was he trying to make her feel bad? By her, she the one who said, well, money comes in waves. So if we're investing right in this and that, and he's saying, okay, well, where are you investing? You didn't give an answer. You said, that's none of your business. I'm trying to make you feel bad by asking you where you're investing because you said if we invest X, Y, and Z, then we'll be good. So I'm asking to see, okay, are you investing in somewhere that's sustainable long-term? You say, that's none of your business. And then your friend comes in to, defend you and say, I'm trying to make you feel bad because of that. That does not make sense. And then she says she's investing in body contour, but you didn't say what your friend was investing in. You said what you're investing in. I don't even know about, I don't know about body contour like that, but either way, let's keep it going. I asked her what she was investing in. I don't know whether it's good or bad. I didn't None want of you guys to pay about... my bills, so why would I tell you about my business unless you're in so, my okay, so I let's... think guys are just mad. It's easier for us are... to make no, very happy for me. Okay. I think, God, don't, hey, hopefully y'all caught that. She said, this girl right here, I think guys are just mad. It's easier for us to make money. Okay. You can feel that way, but if you're just going to let what he's saying go over your head that, hey, this isn't going to be sustainable for that long. So as you're getting this money in, you're not really making investments. You're not making smart money moves with it. You're just getting the money and it's like, hey, I'm lit. Hey, I, I just made 20,000 last month, but my rent is 5,000 because I'm living in this nice uh, apartment or penthouse suite. I'm spending on vacations. I'm spending on this and that. So that 20,000 is realistically down to like three to 4,000 by the end of the month. But hey, I'm, I'm fine because I know I'll make another 20,000 next month. So the mentality is I'm going to just get it and spend. Now, I'm sure there are some ladies who own OnlyFans who've gotten money and actually invested it in things that will help them long term. But the way she said, like how she just said, I think guys are just mad that uh, we can make money easier. Their whole purpose, the whole start of what they were saying was not that. He was just saying that you're not going to, this is not going to be sustainable long term. You seem like you're in the mindset of, hey, it might be sustainable long term. So you might stay in the mindset of, hey, I'll keep spending and spending on whatever I want because I'm living good right now. Thinking that the money, this 20000 is going to still be coming to me and the year 2040 you feel me hey, ladies, ladies calm down ladies calm down Here, here's here's the reality the point of the matter is that what you don't under what we're trying to communicate is that a lot of fields that give people quick money whether it's entertainment whether it's sports whether it's acting there's so many fields that will give you quick money today and when you get that money you think you've made it Look at all the Atlanta rappers. Look at all the basketball players. You think that you made it. Now notice the girl here 
in the middle. She hasn't really said much of anything. You've seen her nodding her, her, her head at some of the stuff Kevin Samuels has said. Like, she's kind of agreeing with it. He just started talking, and you see her kind of nodding her head, agreeing with it. These other two, I ain't going to say that. They, I don't know. They just seem a little bit more combative. She seems like she's at least taking it in and listening to what they're saying. You feel me? But he's making a great point right now. It's like they're taking it like it's just like she said. I think guys are just mad that women are made. He's making a point here that it doesn't matter if you're a woman. It's in any field where you make. Hold on. Let, we're going to let him finish his 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 little spill. And then I'm going to give him where there's acting. There's so many fields that will give you quick money today. And when you get that money, you think you've made it. Look at all the Atlanta rappers. Look at all the basketball players. You think that you made it because you're getting money today. But a lot of these fields in 5, 10, 15, 20 years, you're not making the same amount of money. It's not just you women on OnlyFans. It's also men as well. But the reality of the matter is, is that if you are not wise with your money, if you are not long-sighted with your money, if you don't have actual investments, like understanding cryptocurrency, like understanding mutual funds, like understanding stocks, when, you, when you're not educating yourself on those matters, what ends up happening is you end up losing your money. And the reality of the matter is for a lot of women who are into sex work, you guys are short sighted individuals. So if you now he's making, he's definitely, he's, that's a, like I said, that is a great point, especially as far as to, um, kind of re rebuttal to like what they were saying because they they are really taking it personally like oh it's just women that like you talk about no he's saying this in any field where you're getting a large amount of money in a short amount of time whether that be over a course of one year like for an athlete where you can get millions in one year but the average life or the the, the average career for NFL players what like three years the average career for an NBA player I think is less than seven years if i'm not mistaken i'm not 100 percent sure on it but i know it's not too too much longer than the nfl or it might be like double if i'm not mistaken i'm not too sure on that so don't hold me on that but i know it's not 20 years ain't no average career span for an nba player definitely not for the nfl and for rappers definitely not you feel me there's certain people that have that longevity but those are some of the anomalies. That's some of the the the, the smaller percentage of people who's going to continuously get these checks in for a lifelong span or for over a 20 year span, like a LeBron James, as far as the athlete goes, like a Michael Jordan, who turned that into a full lifetime thing. Um, rappers. Drake who's been in the game for what, like 15 years now, and he's still at the top of the game making big money. I'm sure day in and day out. But there's a lot of rappers who can pop in that moment. And they're like, yeah, man, I'm lit. I'm one of the best rappers right now. And in two years, you're nowhere to be found. Like, i.e. Uh, 6 9 Not that he was ever the best rapper or lyricist, but he was all the way up there. And I was like, yeah, where is he at? Even back then where you had like a a, a, a rich homie Quan, um, a Fetty Wap. You see people who was at the top, like when when Fet, when Fetty Wap dropped My Way, top of his game, top of the rap game, base. Like he was one of the more notable names in the rap game. It's twenty twenty now. Where's Fetty Wap? Music wise, now he could still be making money on the on, like behind the scenes, but as far as that rap money. So if he got all that rap money and was like, hey, I'm just spinning, spinning, spinning because I'm good, bro. I'm, I'm at the top of the game. I'm going to be getting this for a minute. And then that money stops. Did you invest wisely? Did you do what you needed to, to, to do to sustain yourself long term and your family for generations? You feel me? And even for an actor, there's plenty of actors that come in and they're hot for a movie or two or even three. And then they kind of sizzle out. You don't really see them too much more after that, which they could be doing stuff behind the scenes or they could have just not been as popular anymore and people aren't booking them for acting gigs but you have those anomalies that small percentage like a will smith or a denzel whose longevity is oh well that might have some people saying well i mean i could be like a like a will smith so I'm, i mean i'm getting this money right now so let me spin 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 and then when those acting gigs stop 
Now you're, oh man, I spent all that. I should have been saving. I should have been this and that. I know that was a little bit long, but hopefully y'all get the, uh, the uh, gist of what I'm saying here. If you're a short-sighted person, more than likely you're not spending your money. You're buying bags. You're buying nice apartments. Who said OnlyFans is just sex work, though? I Man, what do you, first of all, he didn't say it was only just sex work. See what I said? When they, when, when, when you say something and it, and it, and it hits them, you say one thing in a whole, a whole description and they take that one thing and pull that out of it. Who says OnlyFans is just sex work? What does that matter? We're just saying OnlyFans in the, just in general, period. Like, what do you, <laughs> why are you just sticking to who says it's sex? We're talking about you making long-term investments to make your money grow for you instead of spending it all now because it's a large lump sum coming in at one time. I didn't say I'm buying bags. Like, who said I don't let own me, Let me own finish. Stocks? Let me finish. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who said I'm buying bags? Who said I don't own stocks? But when they said something about you investing, you said that's none of your business. So who does? Who is to say that? We don't know. That's why we asked the question, but you didn't want to answer the question. See, that's, see you can't do that. I like, asked you what you're buying and what you're investing in, and you didn't want to say it. So when Hafiz makes an, ass an assumption, then you want to question that. See, here's what we have going on. This is what I said about being hard headed. I think you guys should be more open minded. Let him finish. Yes. Let him well, finish. Well, 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 okay. 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 So, so, so guys, well, guys well, just... do your research before you really talk about it. Where is y'all research? Like, what is she talking about, bruh? Like I said, this lady still hasn't said one word yet. These two are the most combative. Like, they're just really feeling some type of way about this. Like, how is she going to say she thinks the guy? Hold on. What did she say? That. See, here's what we have going on. This is what I said about being hard headed. I think you guys should be more open minded. Be more open minded. That's the thing. Neither one of these people, so throughout this six minute clip that, that we checked out so far, have said, do not do OnlyFans. None of them have said that. Nobody. All they're saying is the money you are, do your OnlyFans if you want to, but the money you're making, make sure you're making smart investments so you can make that money last for you long term and you're taking it like he's saying don't do only fans well you're you're this and that if you do only fans well it's just like take it for what they're saying and not from the emotion side of it like i'm just feeling some type of way because they're saying something about like what are they actually saying they're just saying to invest the money that you're making from only fans in a smart way and don't spend it all so that when that money slows down you're good still Wow. Finish. Yes. Let him finish. Well, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. so, so guys, well, you guys need to spread a positive message because at the end of the day, I'm leaving it with a so negative so message from this podcast because um, you guys, can somebody grab the control? Because you know what I mean. that's, that's a negative message you're going to leave with because you want to hear. That's all you're hearing. You're not hearing him say just invest your money wisely on the surface. Invest the money you're making now wisely. You're taking it like, oh well, who's to say I'm not? Well, who's well? I'm, you're, I feel like the, the these two here are looking at it to be combative or to be right about it rather than to just hear the the uh, knowledge that the guys are trying to give them, really. And like I said, this lady here still hasn't said that. I'm wondering if she ever going to say anything. Okay, yeah. Real right. quick, we're we're mean, no, 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 real quick, real day. quick, real quick, real quick. You we're just expressing judge, opinions here. Yeah. Minutes, ladies, ladies, so ladies, ladies, ladies. Yeah. We're gonna we're just gonna express the opinions. I, me and Fresh are not in it. We're gonna yeah. let you and Hafiz and Kevin talk about this, yeah. and then you guys can give your points. And then these girls said, the girls said, who's to say it's sex work? What are you doing on your OnlyFans? What are you reading books on there and people are paying 30 a month for that? You're doing something on there. You're not telling me you're not doing it. And I ain't saying you getting piped out on the thing, but has to be you're doing something on there for these people to be paying 30 40 50 dollars maybe even more a month and for for you to be making enough for you to be living off of so whether it's even if it's 20 no matter what for you to be making enough money per month for you to live off of right now obviously you're doing something on there that people want to see and you're not telling me you on here uh Reading lullabies, man. They're like, come on now. What are we Everyone's going to get a form to speak. I, don't worry. As it's a man that you don't even know her, you have no place to tell her how and where to invest her money, how to make her money. I didn't tell her where anything. I just asked what she was doing. You, just <laughs> you see, like I said, they're hearing what they want to hear. He told her where to put her money. He told, he's just saying to invest it. Well, I'm not saying you have to put it in stocks. You have to put it in bonds. I'm just, those are 
examples of what you can do, but just invest wisely so that you can, you don't have to take the, the, the uh, advice at all. You can still do what you're doing, spend on what you're spending on. But when the money slows down, you can't say, hey, well, I didn't know that this was going to happen. I didn't because you have a perfect example of these people trying to give you the advice right now, but you just want to combat all of the insights. This, 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 this is what I mean. This is what I mean, guys. This is what I mean. This is what this economy breeds. It takes a lot of... Let him speak, let him speak, and then you guys will get your shot, too. So, Hafez has been... the. He's trying to be as measured as possible. I came in trying to be as measured as possible. I came in trying to be as measured as possible. And what are we getting? We're getting... Attacked, we're getting anger, we're getting you don't know why nothing, you don't know what I do know. What I do know, what I do know, what I do, what I do know, what I do know is of of all the business people on this platform, the people who are going to have long term success are not you. Okay, so now <laughs> now they about to be mad about that. You already know they about to spouse out. She she already she already piped up, she already ready to go. Now, for him to say that is like, eh, I mean, I see what <laughs> I see what you're getting at, Kevin. But if they were to take heed to your advice and actually invest their money wisely, then they could be. But based off of how the outside two are answering, it would seem as if they're not going to take the advice. So then I can understand you coming to that assumption. Oh, I see. You're saying it's not me. We'll see. We'll see if I'm going to be successful. And my my point that I was simply trying to bring up. If you feel offended, that's how you feel. But you're you no, you wait, Louis, no 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 no. You had a chance. You had a chance. I'm not offended, but I'm spazzing at, at every chance I get. New York, New York. Okay. You had a chance to talk. The reality of the matter is, there is a way, whether you're upset or not, that you talk to people. I have not been trying to be disrespectful to you. I have not raised my tone. I have attempted to allow you to communicate and not talked over you. So what's not going to happen is that as adults, that you don't, you're going to treat me one way and I'm going to treat you a different way. The same way that you want me to be respectful, to listen to you and to try to have a conversation with you, exactly. I ask that you do the same. If we, if we cannot follow those rules, then you can exit the conversation because we are simply trying to have a conversation here. I, if you felt like somebody, New York, you have yeah. to let people talk. Exactly. They, she ready to just jump at the every time somebody say one little thing. She she cannot contain it. You see, this is the re this is the problem. Now we're getting into the problem of modern society because the the whole reason I even got here is because there was certain attitudes I was seeing that you guys were inhibiting. Because remember, the initial question was, what are characteristics about yourself that could be a turnoff to a guy? And some of those things in regards to the attitude, because you started off by saying, well, I'm independent, right? But it's not your independence, it's your attitude. And the reality of the matter is the kind of guys that you want have a choice. They're not going to choose this kind of attitude. So when you're attractive, when you have a nice body, when you pay for money, pay for things and all that stuff, you can get attention. But the reality is with that kind of attitude, you will not get retention. And so all day long, well, this man is low. He's speaking facts, though. It's not like and trust me, don't 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 think everything is just on the like ladies. Hey, you need to change this, change that. There's hella stuff that guys need to change about how we can carry ourselves and um, everything in between that. You feel me? So it's not just on that. But I feel like that's just what the topic of this video is based off of how they're how they're going about it. Whereas we're going to play the video. The, the fundamental reality is when you're 20 and you have your looks, yeah, use your looks to leverage whatever you can get. Exactly. But that eventually runs out. That event So invest it wisely. Don't take it like they're coming at you about how you're making your money. <clears throat> they're saying you can make your money however you want. But make sure you invest it wisely so that it will work for you long term. And when that money slows down, when your looks are fading away or you're not as popping as you were, you still good she runs out and at the end of the day what's going to happen is you're going to be at a point in your life where all you're going to have is who you are as a person and if you have not spent time energy effort and resources into investing into yourself to becoming a better person what you're going to be is by yourself and so and my my hope for these conversations is that we as men and women can talk to one another and build one one another up 
But to sit down here, to tear each other down, and to come with this negative attitude and this condescending demeanor, that's not the productive way we need to move. And I like how he's saying it, but one slight uh, negative thing I would say as far as Kevin Samuels and what he said was what I mentioned earlier when he said, based out of all the people in this conversation, you're going to be the ones that's not successful. That's what I'm saying. Like, they could actually, at the end of the conversation, maybe change their mindset and take the advice and be successful in whatever way that 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 uh, is. But that's that's probably one of the only um, negatives I can say about what Kevin Samuels had to, to say so far. Forward. And we can have a conversation about it. Go ahead. You had something, and then we'll turn it to Kevin. And then we'll let you speak as well, yeah. uh, Damaris. Yeah. So go, go ahead. Sorry. She ain't got nothing to say now. It's fine. It's open forum. You know what I'm saying? Say your piece. I, I, I saw that you wanted to say something earlier. There's so many companies See? like. He just broke that down very sim very. That was an in-depth breakdown that gave you all the information you needed afterwards. She ain't got nothing to say, which is, that's fine. You ain't got nothing to say. You ain't got nothing to say. No, I retire. And me too. I feel like you said you were being um, respectful, but you weren't. As a man, I feel like you have no place to tell women how to make. How was he not being respectful? And he never told you how to make your money, ma'am. He just told you it was going to slow down eventually. There. But you still, it's been 50. It's been 11 minutes. You still haven't grasped that that concept um, of it? Money. And then you're referring to it as, as a sex industry just because you have OnlyFans doesn't mean you're having sex on it. You could be cooking on OnlyFans. You could do. Are you cooking on OnlyFans? That's, that, that, that's what I would ask her right then. Are you cooking on OnlyFans? What are, you, what are you doing on your OnlyFans? We understand you can do whatever on OnlyFans. It doesn't have to be sexual content, but what are you doing on your OnlyFans? Like, what are we talking about? Here? Whatever you want. So I just feel like I'm just offended. And it's not just him. <clears throat> towards me is towards women because men have no place at all to say how women should and shouldn't we have every place we built the goddamn world you live in no you didn't i'm gonna God, say God, 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 is built He's by men I'm gonna say one, one, nobody made this about men or women not get paid this, this is what, this i is, stay here so this is what tends to happen when whether it's only fans tiktok instagram and, and when women can't handle it they leave this is the point. You, this is about business. Business is an offense. And the girl in the middle still hasn't said one word. Is still sitting. Yeah, but when people in their lack of knowledge gets exposed, they get offended. They call themselves experts and business owners and everything else. You're sh online strippers. But make a little bit of money. Congratulations. I'm good with escorts. I'm good with strippers. But when someone like Hafiz or myself tries to sit down and talk to you about your level of ignorance, you're offended. Your ignorance is what offends you. And it's offensive to me that you're going to try to make this about men and sexism. This is what the world has done. It's got little pampered princesses who can get online, make some money, and think that they're on the same level as men who built this world, and they are not. That's what you just saw them leave because they can't go get onto Wall Street, Main Street, anywhere, into a bank, into anybody's business to be taken seriously with their so-called business plan or their go-to-market strategy. You're taking what the world has given you, your creator has given you, and you put it online. Thank men for building the internet, the computers, the smartphone, and everything else that allows you to sit up in your luxury apartment and get paid for showing your feet. We did that. He said for showing your feet. And I do, like, he's definitely coming at it hard now. Um, but I can't understand what he's saying as far as the world that men built. And the only reason is because I saw one of his older videos and uh, they were talking about it and it was like, okay, well, men built this, this uh, world. And they were like, well, well I mean, no. And they kind of got upset and it was like, okay, well, what matter of fact, I don't even think it was Kevin Sam's. It might've been a whole nother, uh, I think it was on poor man, not poor man's pocket. Um, mediocre tutorials and reviews mtr he was reacting to another guy i can't remember his name but the lady was like upset because he was like men built the 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 the, the uh, world basically and she was like oh well i mean women did too and this and that and it's like okay to an extent yes but he was like okay but what women do you see out here working back breaking jobs like where they're building houses where they're um in out in the in the in the, in the coal mines or in the, like where do you see women doing those type of manual hard labor jobs? And even if there are some, it's very few and far in between. 
So I can understand why he's saying that, even though on the surface it might sound kind of, kind of jarring or kind of off. Like that's I can I can understand what they're saying when they put it in that perspective. You feel me? You didn't. And in 10 years, when no one wants to see your feet or your G-string or your tattoos or whatever else, a fees, uh, Chris, the roommate, the roommates, uh, Mario, Fresh, not Mario, Mar um, Myron, Myron yeah. Fresh, we will all be still running our businesses because we don't get emotional about business. When somebody tells us we have a hole in our game, we humble ourselves, we check ourselves, we get better. That's what men do because we have the we have the business of building the world. We can't fuck. And there, and and there are some women who do this as well, which is why I, I don't think he's saying all women. I feel like he's most women, or or at least the women that are on OnlyFans who are capitalizing off of what they were given. You feel me? And thinking it's going to last long term walk off like babies because it happened. I didn't like it. See, Atlas can't shrug. If we shrugged, you would die. That's what happens every time one of you little crybabies gets called out here on the platform you came to to get attention you asked for. When you get more smoke than you're willing to handle, you want to cry and stomp off. Well, kick, kick rocks. And guess what? There'll be a new one tomorrow because now the one of y'all on the panel can honestly say that you are bringing something to the market that ain't 15 of other chicas down on the street bring it. None. So when we sit here and try to have a conversation with you and tell and you. You see the girl here nodding her head again in agreement. That's, that's that. I, I like her and she ain't said one word the whole Guess time. Guess what? Whether you're on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever. Every new influencer, every new person thinks this because they have the dope content. They've got the fucking key. They got the, they, they even discovered. And that's even when it comes to like even comedians or people who go viral on like social media whether it be a guy a girl whatever boom gang the guy who's boom boom gang whole lot of gangs and rant what happened that was hot for maybe a year after that he was gone you got a whole like it's a lot of people that go viral off stuff they're making money right now and then it's like all right that died down on to the next thing that's, I feel like that's all they were trying to get across. Fire, they've invented the wheel, and there's more that goes into it than just turning on a camera and saying, hi, I'm on YouTube, hi, I'm on Facebook, hi, I'm on OnlyFans. It takes planning, it takes work, it takes strategy. It takes business knowledge, it takes collaboration. It takes a lot of things that you obviously don't have. And that's why you're upset, because at the end of the day, you know you don't have them, and you don't have the patience, the intelligence, even the patient, the patience, the intelligence, even the resources to sit down and just listen. So carry your cell phone, and when OnlyFans stops, Subway will be hiring. Oh my God, my Jeez. God. Jeez. Wow. That's tough. Wow. The Godfather. All right, bro. That was our reaction to, what was the name of this? Oh, well, Kevin Samuels posted it on his uh, Instagram, but the name of it, I think, was Fresh and Fit for the actual podcast that he was calling into. But yeah, man, I mean, we y'all done basically seen and heard my thoughts on it. I wish that the ladies would have stuck around and kind of got a full or got an understanding of what they were saying. But really, it was just, it seemed like they were never going to get the understanding because they didn't want to. Because like I said, he's saying they're saying pretty simple stuff as far as the money won't last. And the one girl is just boiling it down to, well, you can't tell us how to make money. When did I ever tell you how to make money? I said the money that you're making is not going to last because of what how you are making the money is based off of only fans you're not going to be making twenty thousand dollars a month in only fans for 20 years straight you feel me so it's like and if somebody is doing that it would be someone that is few and fought the anomaly to the masses you feel me so it's like bro just you, if you can't just listen and hear that out and understand that then what can i i can't help you like okay do what you're doing like I'm not making you take the advice. I'm just telling you, hey, this is, you could take heed to this and maybe invest that money and not say, hey, well, let's go splurge on this and splurge on that. Not even saying that you are, but if you are, maybe you should start now. Hey, take some of this money aside and invest it so that when this money slows down, you're taken care of. But this was definitely, uh, I would say this was actually pretty good content. You feel me? Pretty good content. A pretty uh, dope video. Spread some good knowledge in there. I wish that the girl in the middle would have actually said something or because I wanted to like hear her thoughts on some of it. But the fact that she sat there the whole time and literally did not open her mouth one time was like she's at least taking heed to it. So she might be one who is already invest, who's already 
on that kind of uh, path as far as putting that OnlyFans money into something else. I don't even know she had OnlyFans. I, I would assume all three of them did, which is why they were on the panel, but I don't know. Um, either way, bro, y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about this. Like I said, we will be coming with more content. Um, not necessarily geared towards just this, but like the red pill, blue pill, the manosphere, all that stuff. We'll be coming with a little bit more of that content um, in the weeks to come. So y'all stay tuned for that. Still going to be coming with the reactions and unboxings, food review, all, all that stuff. You feel me? But this is some pretty dope content for the day. Start the day off. Uh, like I said, y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about it. Um, if y'all got suggestions for the reactions, be sure to drop those down below as well. Or hit your boy on Instagram. The links are in the description. Underscore AT. But hey, man, we on the road to 20K subscribers, 18. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. And like always, say y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting it lit over here. Catch y'all in the next video.